What's up you guys, this is Richard with Duran Bros Collectibles, Duran Customs, um, Custom Wrestling Lucha Figures on Instagram, on Facebook it's Legends of the Squirt Circles, so here's a couple of pins my son did, Alex, he's 8 years old, so pretty cool, I wanted to start off with that, I wanted to share with you guys some custom figures that I've done throughout the years. Well, not throughout the years. I mean, I've been doing it for years, so, you know, and some plaques that I've been doing lately. Let me start off with Andre the Giant, because we're big Andre the Giant fans, me and my, my son. Andre the Giant, when he came out of the Princess Bride as Bizet. And uh, Andre the Giant in his later years when he wrestled, I believe, it, a year or two years before he pa passed in Mexico. I believe he tagged him with Bam Bam Bigelow. And I believe it was versus El Canac or El Canac or someone else. And I also created a Bobo Brazil. I like to do the old legends. You know, he's, I believe he's one of the great ones. And also the big cat Ernie Ladd, where I use a, a big show Jack's figure to create him to make him a little bit bigger. I also like to do like the ones, uh, luchadores from uh, Mexico or Puerto Rico. Here's uh, Hercules Ayala. And a Ray Gonzalez. And I like to do the ones that kind of nobody would do or think of doing. That's what sets me apart from everybody else because there's a lot of customizers out there. You know? So this is kind of like the second Hercules Ayala I sold, and maybe like the fourth, fourth Ray Gonzalez, but I always like to do each one different so no figure that you get is going to be identical. The different colors that he would use on the center, his his uh, tights and everything. That's what I like about Ray Gonzalez. And then this guy, uh, Hercules Ayala, with the great stripe on his head. Bobo Brazil, and Bobo Brazil, and then uh, the big cat, you know, or like this Andre in red. I believe he also was in the green, green tights towards the end too, with the red and green. And I also had these small plaques that I made, you know, Tiger Mask, if you guys don't know who Tiger Mask is from Japan, this guy is probably one of the best mask wrestlers of all time, one of my favorites, he had some great matches with uh, Dynamite Kid and, you know, everybody, Bobby Lee, there's a Mil Mascaras, you know, you could display this on your desk at work or hang it up on your wall, or it would look great with your your wrestling collection, the man cave, blue demon. So you guys have time, you know, check out my figures on eBay or on Instagram. You know, I just kind of be different. A lot of people use the 3D head scans. I mean, I like them, but I try to use other fig figures and just add to them with the clay. Because I really don't like the way the hair comes out on the 3D printing, you know. I believe every little detail, I just try to do, you know. For me, detail is the key. The key to them with the boots and everything. The white in the back of the knee pads, you know. Little things like that, you know. Every, every um, this is, um figure art so every customizer has their own style you know I, I appreciate all of them and everybody has their own style and everybody's great in their own lane but everybody does certain ones differently and everybody you know according to their version you know so of course they're not perfect or they're not the best but for me, I take pride in what I do. I enjoy what I do, and I'm a wrestling fan, so I've been doing this for a while. You know, 
and it, it's an expression of what and an imprint of what we we display and we're leaving here you know for everybody to enjoy so i hope you guys enjoy this and i'll have some more videos later on to come thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and my name is richard and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you